Okay, good. So now, even if I am to take this right now, assuming I wanted to take it, you will see me come to the 15 and try and see this level I'm about to take, what happened on the 15 minutes from the left as well. Am I seeing a good support area there? If I can see, then that's when you see me go ahead with this. But when you're seeing a good setup and you check your 15 or one hour, and is that maybe a middle line that you can't see any form of response. You can't see any form of reactions from the left, even on that I am time frame. Yeah, you can take it if you have all your confirmations on five, but the the, the confidence you use in taking it, even when your higher time frame is giving you that confirmation, should be even more. Because I always say it all the time, I have, the higher the time frame, the stronger that support or resistance. So I just need to clarify and explain to us why I always do that when we are trading. Why you see me go to the 15 to check it out. And, uh, you know, to confirm. So what am I confirming? That's just what I'm tr trying to take us tonight. For example, I have a one hour resistance right here. It was broken and retested already. If I am to take this right now, I will come to the 15 and see, is there a re reaction there? Check to the left, what can we see here? Even on the 15 minutes, this is a very strong resistance. So there should be nothing stopping me if this is it's in this line. And I know that the JPY is stronger than GBP as at that time from taking that cell, even when the five minutes has given me the confirmations. Now, I even like what the market is doing right now. Take note of it. There are some times you'll be looking for an area, but the market will not get to it and react. It happens. I think it has happened twice in this trade right now. Let me show us. We are looking forward to this line. Guess what? The 200 moving average made it reverse right here where our pink line is. We are looking forward to take this sell right here. It did not even get there before it reacted. So it happens in the market as well like that. You can see more clearly on the one minute. But don't let this kind of reaction stop, stop you from making sure the market gets your area. It is an area. Don't let, let us focus on the line itself. It is an area. It is an area. Once the market is around that area, you try and study that reaction. Where are you seeing the reaction in that area? If you are looking forward to 1013 and you see the market go to 015 and it's bouncing off it, right? The next time it comes, since you know the difference between the 013 and 015 is not much, the next time it comes to the 015, why don't you just get in? If it's later comes to your 013, it might just take a while, but it will still give you your trade, right? I think some of us miss trades like that. We, we are forgetting that line is just representing an area. And the way it reacted here is not the same way it reacted here. Can we see? It reversed right here, yeah. But right there, it went above it. It went below it a bit before actually reversing and see what is happening here, it did not even get there. So all this area is an area of reaction. You know, I always call it an area of reaction. I always call it an area of reaction. We can see these three reactions right here. I always say it all the time, the market reacts three ways. The market reacts three ways. Sorry, please. I have something, I have something to, okay, yeah. So the market reacts three ways. Number one, it comes to your area and bounce off it instantly. Number two, it goes below it, but it will still go back. This is what we call a fake out. You're, you might actually think at the point that you are losing that trade. Then number three, it plays around that area for a very long time. 
So what the market will do at your area, you cannot totally predict. The best you can do is it comes to that area, you take your trade, right? And hope it reacts faster and gets you clear. So I need us to all understand this. Now, in fact, the, the lines you should treat as an area more are those higher time frame lines. You can still like concentrate exactly on the line on the five minute, three minutes, one minute. Exactly. But once you are getting to the 15 minutes, one hour, you have to treat that line as an area. Are we all following? This is the 15 minute support, right? And we can see different reactions at different points, exactly. Still at that area. A lot of people will be waiting for this line right there, but I won't, I would actually take this trade right here if I have this setup of my trading time. You know why? My pink line is above it a bit at that 024, and I can see the 200 moving average there as well. So the moment is touching these two, I am in. And this is over what? Oversold as well. Are we all following? So I mean, I think some of us, and that is why it's even better when you're using strategies with your markup. Someone who is just a markup trader would have missed this trade right here and this as well, because he would be waiting for the lines. This is a one hour resistance. You can see it did not even get there. This is a 15 minute support. It did not get there. So I need us to understand. I need those. That's what I just planned on coming here to like address for us today. So that while we're practicing, we'll take these notes. We need to be cautious of it. Your line is an area and you're using all other confirmations with it before you get into it, the market. Try and avoid trading against the trend. It's not like you won't. I trade against the trend, but do, you are not looking forward to stay too long in that trade that is against that trend because you never can tell when the trade will be ready to move again. And when you see me trade against the trend, maybe something like, let me see if I can see a good trade against the trend that I would take on a normal day. Okay, this is a very good trade right now. Few here USD, the USD is stronger than the euro right now. So what if you see this kind of setup, what are you going to do? Let me remove this. I feel if we need to be doing this as well these days. This is a Fibonacci trade first, because first you have seen a retracement. A retracement has started. One, two, three, four blue lines going against the general trend. So where are you starting your Fibonacci from? This is where that movement started from. This is where we started seeing all this red, red, red before we started seeing this retracement. So you start your Fibonacci from here, draw it down to where that retracement started from. Remember, I only got the body. So for me, seeing this second I set up, this is the first thing I'm going to do first. Before I even consider looking at other things. This is overbought. This is at the buy area. Although the RSI is kind of confusing for a lot of people, but for, that's for people that want it to confuse them. Because normally it is just half of a point indicator for me. So if I have all of that confirmations from all other tools and my line is there, I'm going into the trade anyway, because I am the line trading itself is my main confirmation. Do not let the, this RSI settings, looking for buys when it's above, looking for sell when it's below, confuse your setups. I did a video yesterday, I released it. 
because that's what the explanation about the whole change of this strategy is about. But that doesn't mean when I'm trading, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not a cash trap trader totally, but I'm using the cash trap as filter. And I want us to train ourselves that way as so well. You are not going to base your trading on a strategy. You are just using any strategy or the combination of those strategies to get a better trade, right? To get a better trade. So what would be an ideal trade you'll be looking forward to? In the next nine minutes, which will make this 10.30, you are looking for this to move a little bit higher to your 618 area. You know why I'm picking the 618 area for this trade? When you look to the left, there was a reaction at where my line is, which was the former floor. Uh, this market broke it. And you are expecting when the market comes there for it to turn to a ceiling now. Then number two, someone said, that's the fifth retracement level. Yeah, the most common level and the most comfortable level I like taking is the 618 area, this red zone. So using that combina combination of the red zone with the former floor will make me take this trade immediately is eating 779 area. So I'm looking forward to in the next six minutes, this market to try, just try, come to this area. Once it enters that red zone, I'm good to go ahead for itself. On the normal, on my normal trading time. You know, it's very important to stick to a trading time that you've tested that works well with whatever strategy you're using. Are we are following. So that would be the, the first thing I would do when I see a market structure like this. I've seen that retracement. I bring that out my free retracement from where it's starting to where the retracement started from. Then I look forward to where was reaction before. That's the area I'll be looking forward to the market coming. So it would be like you trading a break and retest and using it with your FIB level. Are we are for using it with your fib level. And the really reason why I'm looking forward to taking this trade at 10 30 is because we all know half hour, quarter hour, there's reversal. So we are trying to see if this 15 minutes can go a little bit higher so that we know the next 15 minutes is going to do what? Drop at. That's a normal market. Now, do not let us be in a hurry of taking this trade immediately is 1030. It's possible we start going down. But you know what the market can also do? The next 15 minutes can start and you see that 15 minutes now go to that area before now dropping. So it might not be the next 15 minutes that will now actually go down. It might be the 45 minutes, which is the next 15 minutes that will not reverse from here. So these retracement can do can be three. So that's why it is very good for you to wait for your area. Patience. You need to be a, a lot patient. Just wait. Find a good setup area. Wait for the market to come to that area. If it doesn't come and leave you, it's good. It's better for you to keep that money in there, use it to take a comfortable setup than you trying it out and, you know, gambling with your money. I'm talking about the fee right now because I saw this marvelous setup. We, and this is how I will look forward to taking, taking it. I hope we're learning. I really hope this can actually go higher to actually show us the reaction we are looking for. But I think in the next three minutes, the 15 minutes will start and uh, it might not actually get to the area, but that's the area we'll wait for guys. It's possible maybe this reverses at the 382 level, it's possible. But this is the area we'll wait for to actually take this trade.
are we are following? Same thing for Hero Hot. This one has actually given you a few retracement as well. This market was on a downtrend. You started seeing a retracement. So you get it from the top right here, where the retracement, where the movement was going to where the retracement started from. Which area are you looking forward to taking? Yeah. You can take the 0 0.5. So for these, I'll be looking for the 0 0.5 because I have a good support right there. The first level I will actually be looking for in this trade is this area here. And it's already there already. And the 30 minute has already started. So this reversal can, can actually happen anytime right now because this is the former support that was actually broken here. So the market is around that area. So we can actually expect this going down. The 30 minutes is here. We can actually expect this going down hard already. We can actually expect it's going out hard. So this would be the first area I'll be looking for. If it's if it goes beyond this, then this next area, which is the former floor as well. Are we all following? So I'm just using all these examples for us so that we can we can take note of using the FIB with all other confirmations. I've done some FIP class. I believe we have the videos, right? So this is not the first explanation you, you guys are seeing me do about the Fibonacci. But I will still be doing, because of some of us that have not been in live uh, trading, training where I'm taking the FIP. That's why I'm going through all this. But I will still do more videos on Fibonacci itself. So as I was saying, Checking the higher time frame to confirm your setup is very helpful. When the support you're about to take on that five minutes, one minute is also a support of 15 minutes, right? The confidence there will be, should be better. That trade should be a better trade. In that kind of trade server, I will roll over twice. You know, I roll over once, right? In that kind of trade, I can rule over twice because I know it's my still actually, it will certainly most, you know, most probably going to still go. But you can't always be right in trading. Anytime the market can show you, you don't hold me. Are we all following? So let's check this out. This, the, the, this is the main reason why it's not advisable to trade right now. Imagine the, this market was at this spot for more than five minutes now. You know what your brokers would have done by now? They would have spiked a lot of people out. And that's for people that are trading right now. Can we see? I think this actually reversed at the 382 level. We did not even come to your area, but it will still come. So I will still wait. It will still retrace to this area. It will still. Just wait for it. What some people do, do is they, they, set a, they set alarm on their lines. So the moment it comes to that line, there's a beep, you know. For example, let's see if we can actually do it right here. Maybe on this line right now, I'm looking forward to this telling me when the market is there. So once I click the line, I click this alarm, right? I can choose crossing, just touching, just touching it only once. It is to show me the pop-up, right? And I click create. So like I said, I think the first level was what reacted in this trade. And anybody that took it right there, I think he's even back at that level again, sir. Anybody that took this level might need the rollover at first, but it actually came down at the 382 level. That's the first retracement level. You don't want to take it that second time 
you want to wait for maybe the 0 0.5 or your red zone. So these are the three areas I'm looking forward to in taking this trade right here. Former floor, former floor, former floor. Any of these three, the three, almost all the three will actually act as resistance when the market comes around them. But the, for the first one, I only have a very good former floor. I will take confidently if the market comes back there. This, which is this. Which is this. So as for the strategy, guys, it's just an extra confirmation. I need us to, while we're training ourselves, while we're practicing, I need us to be mindful of this. Don't let your trading be based on indicators alone. Make sure you are only trading areas. You are using indicators as extra confirmations. That's the only way we can actually be good at this. And at times when the indicator are failing, you actually still win a lot of trades because you are trading based on price movements. So the most common area in the Fibonacci level is the red zone, 618. So even in a very good fib, maybe the fib is a very long one and I don't have a previous support at anywhere and I'm to take a trade at anyone. Once it comes to the 618 area, I will take it because that's the most common one. I'm even more confident in that 618. I like it when a trade is set up at that 618 line itself, that red line. I like it because that reaction is massive and interesting. I like the reaction around that area. So you can see the trade market walking towards that area, trying to get to that zone. You can see the market walking towards that area, trying to, in fact, even check it on the one minute, it is still a week. That area we are looking forward to on the one hour, it is a very good week area. So like I said, some people might have cleared that 382 level, but you can see the market still continuing that retracement. The retracement is not over, guys. It will still enter this red zone. The only thing is in the normal market, right? This, this movement will be very fast. So you won't wait for a very long time. Yeah, and because of the time we are right now because of the time where I, the market is slow right now. On a normal market movement, before you see two, three, five minutes candle, it's there. It, you've taken your trade, it has reacted the way you want. So those are the kind of market time, market movement time you want to be in. So the main thing I want us to take away from this lecture today is, the higher the time frame of that support or resistance. I just came here to like, you know, talk more on that aspect, the better that trade is. Then do not treat your higher time frame lines as that exact area, a time a line. Treat it as an area. Treat it as an area. You see a reaction around it. Maybe you are looking forward to 779. The market comes to 777. You see it bouncing off that 777. It's just two points. Why not just get in? You're still going to clear it. I think some of us are looking for that perfect sniper entry, being at that top. <laughs> it's actually a good thing, right? I love it as well. I trained myself based on that, and I have a lot of almost all my trades happen because I'm a line trader. It happens that way, but it's not a must anyway. Because if you are looking for that perfect thing, you might miss a lot of trades. All right. So even if you know the market will fall from here to here, it's not a must for you to get that point where it's going to fall. 
if you see a reaction happening very close to it, take it, it will still fall below it. But that doesn't mean you should get in too early. Please, I need us to understand what I'm saying. It's the patient's game. You have to be patient, but you have to study the reaction around that area. Treat it as an area. That's what I'm saying.